This is the second video in a series of five in which you will learn how to make this animated and interactive infographic with Adobe Animate and Adobe Illustrator CC. In the previous video we've imported an Adobe Illustrator file into Adobe Animate. In this video you'll make your first object move. We'll first start with this cloud. We're going to animate it in a continuing loop from the left to the right of the stage. To do this, it's very important to convert the cloud to a symbol first. Make sure you've selected the selection tool in the tools panel. When you've done that, you can select the cloud on the stage, right click and choose convert to symbol. I'll name the symbol cloud and then click OK. Now we've got a symbol, we can start animating it. Because I want to animate the cloud from the left to the right, I'll first move it to the start position, outside the stage. To make a continuing loop, you've got to go to the cloud symbol's own timeline. This is almost the same principle as the isolation mode in Adobe Illustrator. To go to this timeline, double click on the cloud. When you've done that, you'll see the symbol's own timeline. To make the symbol move, we've got to create a motion tween first. Right click the cloud and then create motion tween. Animate now asks to convert this cloud to a symbol again. We could have done this before, but actually it's not really wrong to do it now. So just click OK. Note that the timeline has now been changed because Animate has added a motion tween to your timeline. This motion tween is an animation of one second, but nothing happens yet. Make sure your playhead is at the end of the motion tween and now move the cloud to the right outside the stage. Animate has now made an animation. Press enter to view it. As you can see, this is a very fast animation because it only takes one second. We can change this by making the motion tween a lot longer by dragging it all the way to 16 seconds. When you press enter to view it again, you'll see it now takes 16 seconds to go from the left to the right. Click on scene 1 to go back to the main timeline and you can now test this animation in the browser by going to Control Test. This is the only way to see the animation loop. So, now you know how to animate something from the left to the right, we can start making rotations in the next video.